Hello everyone, by the way, I'm Eboy and Carmen. In this video, I will going to discuss to you the evolution of the Philippine Constitution to fully understand how the Philippines Constitution involved. Let's start with the definition of the Constitution. What is Constitution? A Constitution, a set of rules that guides how a country, state, or other political organization works. So this is like a rule book by the government. All roles that stated must be followed by the government. These documents also create branches, powers and responsibilities of the government and also contains the rights of the people and it's illegal for the government to violate this right. If they can do they will be the punished by the law. A constitution also open known as the supreme law of the land. It means it is the highest law in the country, the government cannot pass a law which goes against the constitution. A law must comply with their principles set out in the constitution. Take note of this. No one, not even the president, can go against the constitution. Did you know, every February 2 is the constitution day. The latest constitution of the Philippines was ratified on February 2, 1987. This is the reason why we celebrate the constitution day every 2nd of February. So ngayon, nalaman na natin yung meaning ng Constitution. So now, let's present the importance of Constitution. Why is it important to us to have a Constitution? First, maintain law and order. Second, rules and regulations. Third, protect the individual freedom and rights. Fourth, limit the power of the government. So ayan, so kailangan talaga natin ng uh, maintain law and order o kailangan natin ng Constitution katulad ng maintain Law and order. Law ita kayo kung wala na siya. Kay um, daog-daogun rat, daog rata nila. So dapat na agay leader na mulid sa ato ah, para mapadayon o makuan ng maintain and uh, maintain law and order. Dapat need yud ka ayon ng kaning maintain law and order. And also the rules and regulation. Dapat magsulo, uh, masunod ta sa mga balaod, mga pamaagi diri sa atong society and also the protect individual freedom and rights so tagaan natog freedom dapat tagaan nilag freedom ang mga tao kay i know nga we are not um uh, right dili ta perfecto ng mga tao so natay ba nga isig natay mga rights and freedom to choose and also mulihok ana and also limit the power of the government kana so need good talaga need natin ng um, constitution. constitution. Now let's move on. Let's present the evolution of the Philippines Constitution. So aron na ako ipakita sa inyong timeline. We have six total uh, constitution. Among the six constitution, only three effectively govern the country. These are 1935, the Commonwealth Government. 1973 Marcos Constitution, 1987 Philippine Constitution. And this is the sixth Constitution. Malolos Constitution. Commonwealth Government. Japanese Government. Marcos Administration. Freedom Constitution. And now, let's proceed to our topic, the Philippines Constitution, sometimes known anti-Marcos Constitution. Now, the 1987 Constitution revolves around four themes. First, upholding national sovereignty. Second, democratic governance and the prevention of another dictatorship. Third, respect for human rights and civil liberties. Fourth, promotion of social justice. Now, it's not the perfect documents, but it is the country's highest law finding all the citizens of the Philippines. The Constitution provided for three governmental powers, namely executive branch, legislative branch, and judicial branch. Executive branch is headed by the president and his appointed cabinet. So, ang president 
ang modisasyon or mulid para sa mga batas. Example, ang president o vice president mo declare o martial law. Dili dayon basta-basta ma-declare mo paagi pa na sa mga selected cabinet, cabinet which is mauni sila ang mga congress ila pa na i-review or i-revoke or i-sisihon pa nila or majority ba na mo declare ang martial law or extend pa nila ang ilang decision kung sapat na ba bigyan ng katwiran ang ilang mga decision. Mao nang dili basta-basta pod ang mga senate kay sila pod ang modisasyon kung i-declare nila ang martial law. Base sa aking pagsusuri, ang legislative branch ay isang importante rin kasi sila yung mag-declare ng war. Yun ang po. Judicial branch dapat masalay ang mga kapangyarihang pagkakuman sa isang kataas-taasang hukuman at sa mga nakakababang hukuman na maaring itatag ng batas. Sa klaw ng kapangyarihang paghukuman ang tungkulin ng mga hukuman ng katarungan na ayusin ang nangyayaring mga sigalot na kinakasangkutan ng mga karapatang nararapat, hingin at ipapatubad ng naaayon sa batas at pasyang kung mayroon walang naganap na lubhang pagsasamantala sa direksyon ng humantong sa kawalan o kalabisan sa horidiksyon sa panig ng alin mang sangay o instrumentalidad na pamahalaan. That would be the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching.